Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So when we talk about food, uh, it is very important to talk about the variety of food that we see. So uh, if you have ever observed that, let's say you are three friends. So do you think that all of you have the same item in your lunchbox? Not really. Maybe one of you have a bowl of rice, the other one has a burger and the third one has a bunch of french fries. So basically all of you have different food items to eat and why do you have different items? Because there is a huge variety of food available to us. So everybody as per their own taste, as per their own convenience, they eat different types of food. Now the variety of food which are available for people that also depends on a lot of different factors. For example, different people have different food habits. So people inhabiting different regions eat different foods depending on the climate of that area, depending on the availability of food. So there are a lot of factors which are also dependent on the location. So that is why people in different locations generally have different food habits. So if you see in India, we have a lot of people who eat, uh, especially in the no northern parts of India, people prefer to eat uh, roti, rice and uh, the curries. But when you go to the southern parts of India, they also eat these kind of rice items like idli, uh, dosa. So these are all staple food for these people. But if you go to the western countries, they also have uh, a slightly different food habit. So they eat burger, pizza, uh, breads. So you know, depending on locations, you might have different a variety of food but what we are concerned what we are concerned about is not only the food which we eat but the ingredients of which the food is made up of so when we talk about uh, idli it is made up of rice urad dal when we talk about chapati it is made up of wheat flour when we talk about a curry it is made up of vegetables spices salt um, so different food items are made up of different ingredients so when we look at the huge variety of food so some of the most common food like which are used as staple food like rice roti idli dosa so these are all a quite simple composition so they are all either made up of rice grains or made up of wheat or made up of rice mixed with a pulse again when you talk about items like burger or french fries or cheese, yogurt, cheese, yogurt, these are all milk products. Both of them are obtained from milk. Just that the process of their preparation are a little different and that is why we get different products. You talk about juices which are obtained from fruits and vegetables. Uh, talk about items like chicken which are, which are obtained from animals. So you see when you look at the variety of food, you see that all of them are obtained from different sources. Some of them are obtained from plants, some of them are obtained from animals. Now when we go uh, one step deeper that is now we are not looking at the food item. We are not looking at whether it is a pizza or a burger or uh, a fried rice. What we are looking at is what is that food made up of? What is the fried rice made up of? What is the pizza made up of? So now we are talking about the ingredients. So here if you talk about these items like uh, rice, idli, uh, dosa or chapati. So each of these items, if I, now I am talking about their ingredients. So when I talk about their ingredients, so what would be the ingredients for boiled rice? So how do we prepare boiled rice? We take rice grains and we take some water. We boil it and that's how we get boiled rice. If you talk about idli or dosa, so for them all we need is some rice, some urad dal, some amount of water and maybe for dosa a little bit of oil. So that's how you get idli or dosa. When you talk about chapati or roti, so there you need uh, flour, maybe wheat flour or uh, maida, whatever. You need some water. So again, this gives you and then you bake it on the oven. So again, that gives you the chapati. So here in all of these items you saw that the ingredients are quite simple. You just need one or two things and that's it. You are able to prepare these food items. 
However, a lot of food items have multiple ingredients, like quite complex composition. You need a lot of things to prepare them. So let's have a look at some of those type of food items. So here you see uh, fried rice here and here you see a uh, vegetable curry. So in both of these, you don't need just one or two things. You need a lot of things. So if you want to prepare a fried rice, so for that you would need vegetables because you have cut the vegetables and put them. So you need a lot of vegetables. You also need some amount of oil. You need rice. Of course, you need rice. And you also need spices like you might need haldi, you might need um, coriander powder. So you, there are a variety of spices, especially in India, the food, the, there are a lot of spices which are being used during cooking. So the food items have a lot of spices, you need salt. So all of these ingredients mixed together in right amounts will result in the formation of fried rice or even the vegetable curry. So here you, you don't need one or two things, you needed a lot of things. And each of these ingredients, whether you talk about the rice or you talk about the oil, you talk about the spices or the vegetables, these are the things which provide, which act as nutrients, which give us uh, nutrients which we need to get energy for our survival. So there, these rice would give us carbohydrates, these vegetables would give us minerals and vitamins, These uh, this oil might give us some fat. So that way all these ingredients are the one which actually give us the nutrients that we need. And now you, you might ask then why do we cook them? Why don't we eat them raw? Why don't we drink a glass of oil? Why don't I simply chew uh, a carrot and I don't cook it. So uh, why we do this is just to improvise the taste because we have taste buds. So we want the food to be tasty and for that purpose we boil them, we fry them, we add spices to make it more tasty and that's the entire purpose of cooking. Okay, so here we reached till the level of ingredients. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.